Pre-season testing in FIA F3 over in Bahrain left us with many talking points in what was a fascinating three days of on-track action. And in this video, I'm going to go through the five things I think we can take away from pre-season testing in F3. First up then, Prima set to be given a run for their money. Were the Italian team sandbagging? Now, the latter is a question many were asking because when all the times from the three days were combined together, only one Prima driver was inside the top 10 and that was Jack Crawford in fourth place. Why are we focusing on Prima? Well, since F3 started in 2019, they have won all three titles uh, and they have also had all three drivers inside the top 10 every single season. So they are a bit of an unstoppable force. However, coming into this season, ART, Trident and MP Motorsport all carried really strong driver lineups, likewise high tech as well, and that was proven in the results last week. High tech were quickest with Isaac Hajar, uh, ART were second with Victor Martins, uh, and Trident were third with Zay Maloney. Then we had uh, MP Motorsport seventh with Kayo Collette. So, can Prema win a fourth straight title? The answer is yes, they've got a great lineup uh, in returning Artur Leclerc. Jack Crawford, who's moving up from high tech, uh, and also Oliver Beerman, Italian and ADAC F4 champion. So yes, they can win a fourth straight title, but I think this is going to be their toughest challenge yet. Next then, Frecker has seen rookie drivers get off to a quicker start. Now, Frecker, Formula Regional European Championship by Alpine, started last year. Over 40 drivers competed across the 10 rounds, three of which were F1 support races at Monaco, Barcelona uh, and Imola. Nine of the drivers who raced in that series last year have jumped up to FIA F3 this year and four of those drivers were inside the top 10 in Isaac Hajar, Zay Maloney, uh, Gregor Saucy and also William Alitalo as well. I think particularly uh, Hajar, Maloney and Saucy cannot be written off as title contenders. But it's fair to say the ethos of Freca has worked a hugely competitive championship, racing at most of the same circuits uh, in F3 and a lot of the same teams also competing as well in Prema, ART, MP Motorsport, Van Amersfoort Racing and now Trident. All five of those teams have teams in Freca as well. And after what we saw in Bahrain with last week, with how quick those graduates were, I think it's only a matter of times before other teams do the same. Next up then, High Tech looked like they could fight for their first FIA F3 title. Now, going back to my earlier point, Prima have been unstoppable. So of course, High Tech have never won an FIA F3 title, nor though have they won a GP3 series title. So could this be the year for them to win their first one? Well, they certainly got off to a good start. Isaac Hadjar quickest and by four tenths uh, of a second. Now, last year, they didn't have any drivers inside the top 10, but in the seasons previous, they had drivers inside the top five in Liam Lawson and Yuri Vips, who both finished uh, fourth and fifth. So that experience combined with the pace that we saw from Isaac Hadjar, and no doubt we'll see from his teammate, Caelan Frederick. I think this year is a really good chance High Tech could win their first title. Isaac Hadjar turned a corner at the end of last year when he became a Red Bull junior, won the rookie title in Freca, won the last race of the season. He's absolutely oozing confidence at the moment. And I think there's a very good chance he could go all the way this season. Next then, we come to our fourth point now, and that is Van Amersfoort Racing look to be making fast progress. A big season ahead for them. They replace HWA Race Lab in both F2 and F3. So a tough, tough year for them to be thrown into the deep end like this. Many thought, well, they're just going to be making up the numbers this year. It will be a learning year for them. Could even be a couple of seasons before we see them at the front. Uh, the latter might be the case. However, they made a very, very strong start. They had two drivers inside the top 10 on day one in Franco Colapinto and Reese Ushijima. Although they remained fairly quiet after that, I think that day one result was a real, real statement. And I think Van Amersfoort Racing, with the likes of Colapinto and Ushijima and you know, the experience and the talent that those two have in particular, I think it's only a matter of time before they're fighting for points and possibly even podium finishes as well. And finally, we will end with no clear favourites in a season 
that looks to be going to the wire. How do you pick a favourite when you go through the following? Well, Victor Martins goes in as the top seed after finishing fifth, so statistically he could be that. However, Trident are the reigning team's champions and the only team to have two drivers inside the top five overall. Then we had High Tech, who were quickest with Isaac Hajar by four tenths of a second. And on day three, we had just over a second between second and 28th place. I truly believe this is going to be the closely contested season we have ever had in FIE F3 racing with lots of teams fighting for wins and lots of drivers possibly fighting for the title as well. It's going to be absolutely fascinating and it all kicks off in Bahrain next week. Thank you for tuning in for my test review. I've been Chris McCarthy. Do click the like and subscribe. I've got an FIA F2 test review coming out as well and then some season previews coming up next week.